the 14th of February 2019. This is the day when Silkson was first announced and when the first Silkson fans were born. Today, we will look at the life of these fans up until now. What are they like? What do they want and need? Why do they cry themselves to sleep at night? All these questions shall be answered. We've already answered these questions about Hollow Knight fans, but Silkson fans are something else entirely. But before we get into it, yes, I did not use my normal opening line today. So what? Nothing is sacred, expect the unexpected. That said, let's dive into the life of Silksong's fans. It starts off quite normal, I suppose. After February 2019, everyone naturally went absolutely batshit crazy, to the surprise of no one. People were analyzing the trailer frame by frame, analyzing the Q&A frame by frame, and analyzing the analysis frame by frame. And, of course, starting off the well-known Silksong Discussion Channel on Discord, talking day in and day out. But eventually, things turned down a tiny bit. Just kidding, in June of 2019, the E3 demo came around and had us all screaming. Team Cherry gave Nintendo an early demo in which the players were able to play through Moss Grotto and the Deep Dogs, which ended in a boss battle with Lace. This all led to Hornet apparently being a lesbian now, at least according to way too many too explicit pieces of fan art. Um, anyway, before we move on to the second phase, let me talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Raid Shadow La Wait. Who wrote this into the script? Are you kidding me? Stizzle, you wrote this into the script yourself. You even wrote this arbitrary exchange between us two into it in order to emphasize how shocked you are about today's sponsor. Just save us all some time and get into the sponsorship segment already. Thanks. Okay, so Raid Shadow Legends really is today's sponsor, huh? Kinda cool, since in Raid you can collect more than 300 champions to fight with. These champions kinda remind me of the champions from League of Legends, with the huge plus that you actually don't have to play League of Legends in order to play with these champions. Sounds like a win-win to me! And whether you wanna progress the story, which got really pretty art scattered throughout its cutscenes, or wanna PvP against other players, or join a clan to go on raids with, this game lets you do all of that and more. I've mostly played the campaign, the dungeons, or the arena, but there are so many things to do that you're likely never gonna get bored. You can also just drink alcohol in order to level up, just like how my confidence levels up after 3 Vienna Lagers at 1am when I'm at a club. So, what's new in Raid? This month, Raids get a lot of new special events and activities for Halloween. We're talking rewards, tournaments against other players, there are even some new spooky themed legendary champions to be collected. That said, why should you download Raid with my link or the QR code on screen right now? Most importantly, you will get all of these big boy items if you use my link, but you can also get a high class samurai champion called Chinuru. Hey, Raid. Why do my viewers get stuff that you didn't even give me? I want my money back! Oh, that's right, I didn't pay anything because this game is free to play, baby! All this treasure will be waiting you here, but keep in mind that only new players will get the rewards and only for the next 30 days. Now get the game using the link in the description and join my clans, this is Life Enders and we can go on a raid sometime. Thanks again to Raid for making this video possible and let's get back to it. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is all we have gotten up until now. Be it the last small team chair update from December 2019, the Leth Riddles from Summer 2020, or the magazine interviews from December 2020 and August 2021. It is all we got. And of course, such a lack of news has led to different parts of the community reacting in different ways. This is why the Silksong fan of 2019 has since developed into different possible paths. Let's go through each one. Let's start with the dipshits. The dipshits, derived from the Latin word please shut the fuck up is, are a group of people who have searched for games similar to Hollow Knight in order to say that those games copy from Hollow Knight. These individuals are normally less developed than other counterparts. For example, while examining their anatomy, researchers found out that their brains do not have any wrinkles at all, but are just really smooth instead. That is so facts and logic slide right off. Kinda of similar to a bowling ball, but of course, not all parts of the fanbase behave like this. Let's get personal. The next path is called The Analyst, and is a path I myself am a part of. The Analyst analyzes everything Team Cherry does and has done and will do, 
And this channel was built upon theories and analysis and release date predictions. Naturally, the next words are hard to say, but I gotta say them anyways. What are we doing? Like for real? We've been speculating on release dates and, and for what? The closest thing we got was some leaked data about a supposed release date for Silks and with GeForce now, but that could just as well be a placeholder, as we've seen time and time again in gaming. And when it comes to making new speculations about release dates in this day and age, then I just gotta say that, in my opinion, we haven't gotten enough info in the last year that would warrant a new speculation video. People keep asking me over and over and over again on when I will give my thoughts yet again. People! My predictions failed each time! What more do you want from me? I'm done! I've lost my last semblance of self-respect two speculations ago. There's nothing left. I will now revert back to making shit posts once a month, like this one, and that's it. Hey, Stizzle. What, Audi? What? What do you want? Uh, when, when, when Silk Song. Audi, for crying out loud, shut the. You know what? Fine. Wanna know when Silk Song comes out? Let's start with the day. Oh, okay, okay. 18th. It's 18th. Let's go for the month next. Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's February, it's gonna be February. Here's your answer. The 18th of February, 2022. Are you happy now? Jesus Christ, I swear to God. Feels like I'm going insane over here. Well, at least I'm doing better mentally than a fan who has been drawing Hollow Knight characters poorly for over 650 days now. Anyway, up next is a path that is opposite to the dipshit path. The path of trying out some other games in order to find something that is a bit similar to Hollow Knight, but yet refreshing enough to stand on its own and can be considered an innovation on the genre. Or in short... These fans try to hold out for Silksong by playing some other new Metroidvanias. And I think we've gotten a few good Metroidvanias this year already. Grind, for example, asks the age-old question, what if Bowser's inside story had been written by H.P. Lovecraft? And a game such as Ender Lilies uses a unique combat style and a well-built world and soundtrack to stand above the crowd. Additionally, the first AAA Metroidvania in ages, Metroid Dread, comes out just as I'm writing this script, so that's great as well. And with so many new Metroidvanias being in development or already out there, there's a lot that a Silksong fan can encounter in their lifespan. The rest of 2021 and the entirety of 2022 will be full of great games, but what about the future of the Silksong fans? What the future holds is... well... Unknown, of course. It's the future, after all. What do you expect from me, that I know all the answers, just like I pretended in the last video? No. Nobody's gonna ascend to a higher state of mind. There's no definitive answer to how long we will have to wait, or to how good the game will be. Team J is not gonna come to your house at night and whisper the release into your ear if you put some bugs you find outside under your pillow. Also, that's gross. There's no definitive answer to anything. There's no definitive end to the life of a Silksong fan either, because Silksong isn't even out yet. So, what even is the point of this entire video? I don't have the answers, I know nothing about the future. So, why am I doing this? Because actually, I do know one thing. I know that things don't have to have meaning. A video can sometimes be just that. A video without any grand answers to anticipated things for the future, without grand answers to what we should do or what I should do until then. And I also know one more thing. There's only one constant that we can always rely on. The future will come. We just have to wait. Thanks for your support on YouTube and Patreon. I'll see you next time. Bye.